You don't mind if I record this interaction, do you? I don't mind if you record it. No, okay. I'm only here to talk about... Because that's for my protection as yeah, well. Yeah, that's fine. I'm only okay. here to talk about the aerial. All right. As I said, Mr Vine's contacted us. A bit concerned about what you're going to do with his aerial. And what has he said then? Uh, he said what I've said to you, that you said he's, you've given him four weeks to take it down. Yeah. So he's concerned. No, no, that's not what I said at all. Okay. What have you said to Mr Vine? Uh, for the record, Mr Vine <coughs> and my neighbour next door have also consulted a solicitor and made a fabricated evidence against me which the solicitor has just repeated claiming all sorts of things like I've been aggressive and I've been warned by the police on multiple occasions and even that I've built a, a shed which contravenes the lease and all of it's just absolutely made up stuff okay. so what I have said to him is that the way it overhangs my property it shouldn't overhang my property like that right and that wouldn't cause me any issue other than the fact that almost daily I have to clean up bird poo from right outside my door. If I didn't clean it up, it would be disgusting and I'm, okay. I'm fed up of having to do it daily. All right? So I've given him four weeks notice to remedy that and I've suggested to him he either has an engineer come out and have a bar put on so it's physically on top of the roof okay. and not overhanging or a simpler option is to get some plastic spikes online and have someone climb a ladder and fit and I'm more than happy to give him access in order to do that. Okay. Right. That's what says you're happy. But if he, if he, gets if he doesn't, yeah, this is what I've said to him, but he cherry picks information and then he's an alarmist and here we are and he's called you. Right. I'm legally entitled to do what I've done and to give him ample time, four weeks, in order to remedy the situation. Okay. And if he hasn't done it within that four weeks, because I've had it with cleaning up bird poop, I will deinstall the aerial, which I'm legally entitled to do, and place it on his driveway on his property there okay. i'd rather him not i'd rather not have to do that because it's hassle for me but it's a simple thing that's easily remedied right and i have to sort of encourage him by giving him that four weeks notice because otherwise he just completely ignores things okay. so that's the state of play but the aerials if you look at the houses are pretty similar as well aren't they yeah but they're houses aren't they i don't know which ones are they not making it there no okay so I'm there's no there's no door really well, not How many years have you been here now? How's that relevant? I'm just, I'm just asking. Mr. Martin's been about 15, hasn't he? And that aerial's been there the whole time. No. Okay. I've okay. been here a lot longer than Mr. Yeah, Vine. that's what he said. You've been here longer than he him. He had the yeah. aerial installed, not long after it. Well, a few years after he moved in. Same as everything else, okay. and wires and everything. So we don't get on. It's very difficult yeah. to get on. I've tried to be amicable with him, but he'd rather consult solicitors and consult. Mm. Authority. And I know he's going through a solicitor as well, but can he not get access to his storage? Again, this is with the solicitor, it's not his storage. Do you not have one? Has he raised that with it? you as well? He's mentioned it too, yeah, because we're a neighbourhood team. He's expressing yeah, neighbourhood issues. Yeah, there's, there's he's civil and there's legal. And it's, it's, you know, I'm not trying to be rude. No, he's but, concerned of this about his getting out of control, and that's why he's contacted us about what you're going to do, and he's worried. He's get, he's that's worried. why he's contacted right. us, yeah. When I spoke to him about this, and I used the same tone of voice that I'm using with you, and I recorded it, he accused me of threatening him, right? And I wasn't threatening him. I said, I'm not threatening you. I'm giving you four weeks' notice in order to remedy that. I'm not in the habit of threatening 86-year-old men. That's not what I do. I'm a peaceful man. I stay in honour. You know, it's not the way I am, but he will cherry pick and he will try and paint the picture like I'm some sort of bad, bad man, okay. and I'm not. So how long has he got left to sort the aerial out now? Uh, it was last Thursday, I think. Thursday, okay. It's, I mean, it shouldn't be a countdown thing, it should be, I'm quite willing to give him a, a, a workman access in order to do one of those two options, or yeah. another option if he comes up with it. It's just to let Mr Vine know that you will be taking it down in four weeks if he hasn't. Yeah, he knows that might, already, yeah, already but told, but he, he chooses to not listen. happy to leave it because it's his area. With, with regards to the storage here, the, the downstairs cupboards belong to the downstairs masonette. It's written into the lease, right? He, can, he, went to, he, was, he told me when I was building this that he was going to deal with, get his solicitor on it, and I went to the trouble of digging out my lease stood at his front door and I showed him there's just one word there's a, there's a section for my property on the lease and there's a section for his and it says includes under stairs storage space in mine and on his side it says excludes and I showed him that to try and save him whatever amount of hundreds of pounds an mm. unscrupulous member of the law society will charge him but okay. still he wants to go down that route because he's fully programmed so but I haven't not blocking access to anything that is his because it doesn't th this is his from this this borderline here where that okay. wall comes down that's his porch because that's his staircase 
this is his as well, but I'm not blocking access to that. He, won't, he doesn't need access to a downpipe, and if it does need repair or replacement, happy to allow him access to it. But this is my property, and if I want to build on my property, and as long as it doesn't impact on anybody else, which this doesn't, then I'm going to do that. Okay, not a problem. Yeah, thanks for your time. Just say your name just to say we've spoken to you. That's that's all it's for. Is that okay? Um, I'm not giving you my. Okay, not a problem. Thank you very you much. You enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Take Bye. care. Your aerial is encroaching on my property. Every day now I'm having to clean up bird poo from my drive right outside the door because of your aerial. All right? So I'm going to give you four weeks notice to yeah, either have it removed yeah. back yeah. Onto the, on top of the roof so it's not overhanging or an easier solution is you can get clips on the internet for 20 quid and I'll allow you access as long as you as long as oh, it's see, before that. I can't say nothing because it's always in the end of the solicitor now, sorry. Well, the other thing's in the end of the solicitor, right? But the solicitors, like I've said before, well, can't be trusted. So I'm going to give you four weeks to remedy the aerial, whether it's clips or whether there's a bar put on it to move it back. So you're threatening me then? No, no, I'm giving you notice, right? I'm recording this as well, so I'm giving you notice. If it's not, if no remedy is made in within four weeks, I'll have your aerial deinstalled which I'm legally entitled to do because it's on my, uh, half of it's on my property and I'll just put it on your driveway there. But I'd rather, and I'll give you access to do it, the easiest way is to just get someone to buy, get, buy some clips online, put it on the top, and then there's not, and I don't mind the overhang then, it's the bird poo that bothers me every well, day. Well, we go. All right, and then, I, and then I'll, I'll do the other thing in court with the three of you. I'll be ringing the solicitors today. Yeah. All right, and I thought you didn't believe in it. Hmm? I thought you didn't believe in it. I'll still communicate with them, but oh, I'll give them oh, my take on it. Because into your story. No, no, what they're saying in the lease is just, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Right? Like, I've got some legal obligation to consult you before I do anything on my on my property, and it's my property. So, you want to play that? I would have thought in, in the twilight in your life, you wouldn't want to waste your time doing this. I'm it's not quite right. ridiculous. Well, we'll see how he goes, then, right? We'll see how he goes. Yeah, well, you've got four weeks, okay? okay? So if it's not done in four weeks, okay. I'll deinstall your area. And I'd rather not do that. So that's I'm, we'll I'm, ample time, isn't it? Well, you were saying you've seen how it goes before. That's we, not all you I seem to I, say. Well, I am because you, I mean... So you're not going to do anything about the, the area? Well, I don't know yet. Are you going to seek your solicitor's advice on that, are you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Back on me. Okay. Enjoy your day.